Right, so, we are going to do a quick review, hopefully quick, of the recent vault Workshop DLC, which I was super pumped for. Um, I spent most of yesterday, which is when it came out, uh, playing, getting a feel for the uh, new settlement items, um, and... I gotta say, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of meat to this one, so so let's get into it. Um, let's show off what they've given us. Okay, so if you go into the structures tab, there's a new tab inside of that uh, called Vault, which gives you all these different room types. Okay, so domestic. I'll just quickly um, talk about what each one of these is for, pretty much. Um, so domestic, this is going to be your mainstay kind of from going between different areas. Um, so an example of this, I've got my atrium here. I will do, when it's complete, I will do a full tour of this vault and talk about it. But here we've got this domestic stairs which leads up into the overseer's office there. Um, okay, and the same applies here. I've got this domestic room which leads to security and all that kind of stuff. So it's it helps bridge between. Then you got utility, which stands to reason uh, what that is. It's you know what you would use for maintenance areas and the electronic parts of the facility, perhaps. And you can see there, there's this nice piece piece which um, bridges between. If you look, you can see that uh, it changes the style within it, which is a, a nice thing. Um, <clears throat> And if you look, basically these two tabs have much the same stuff in them. So if we're looking at this, um, you can see that we have a essentially like your one by one block uh, corridor, which is um, that. And then you've got one that's twice the length. Then you've got that one I mentioned. Then you've got a different style, pretty much. Uh, one with a window, two windows, um, a three-way one, so you can create like intersections, uh, four-way, corner, very useful, um, doorway, I'll explain how the doorways work in a second. You've got one with more holes and doorways. Stairs, um, these are really responsive. I didn't expect them to be, um, but they like to snap. They're good with snapping, and they just work really nicely. Um, okay, this is so you can actually create like a room. Uh, I'll show you an example of a utility room. Um, oops. So, that's a doorway. You can put this on the end piece. If you don't want to put one of the other doorway pieces on, you use this to create a doorway. But if you look in here, I have got this utility area. Um, we'll talk about this type of hallway in a second, but then we'll go up. Got utility stairwell up into here, and I used an atrium area because the atriums are the only ones you can build up uh, to form large rooms. Okay, so the next thing would be the wide halls. Now this, when I heard that they were adding this. I thought, how the fuck are they going to make this work with the rest of the pieces? Because obviously they're way bigger. Dude, it is so intuitive. It basically works by you have this piece, which is a doorway. And you can connect that, like so, to any doorway for the other pieces. And it's just really nice and intuitive. So I can build from that. Um, and have all kinds of utility area, which I think is a very nice... Uh, addition cleverly done. You've got end pieces. This is quite a simple tab. There's there's less in it, um, but again you got a f like a where's the uh, here we go four way. So you can actually make these quite big and substantial areas um, with this, which is very nice. Okay, then you've got the rooms. So common room, cafeteria, clinic, nursery, overseer, quarters, security. I'm not going to go into every one. The contents of each one is basically the same. They're all just reskins. So if we take a look at the cafeteria, you'll see, you can see all of these in vaults within the actual game. But as you can see, you got this nice wallpaper type deal. 
Um, you can have, if you don't want that, there are pieces like this one which don't have the uh, design. It's just a plain wall, which is nice. Um, so these are these are kind of nice. I'll also show you I'll have a quick gander into the overseer's office. There is a quest line. I haven't done too much of it yet because I wanted to actually get the vault built before I started doing the experiments on people and stuff. But here, this one actually has pillars. I can't remember. I don't think any of the others have pillars apart from the atrium. Um, so, yeah. Uh, when I first put down, I built this and that's when I put the overseer's desk down, which is part of the quest. And she didn't want to come up here, but I pretty much left the area, waited, and then she, when I came back, she was at her desk, so uh, that worked nicely. So that's the rooms. Next we have the atrium. Now, this whole room here is the atrium. This is going to be your main kind of, uh, the large rooms that uh, you use to, um, kind of the big sections of your vault that lead into other areas of said vault. Um, they are the only ones that you can build up and up and up because they have um, basically low pieces, low wall pieces like that, a wall bottom, then a wall mid and wall tops. Um, and it's very simple how it works. It's much like building a lot of the other stuff. However, you have these pieces. Uh, let me see if I can grab that. Which, these are cool. The problem was originally because it's like two halves that you put together. Originally I thought that I had like a gap and I thought I could use uh, roof pieces. So this was much wider originally but uh, it turned out that they have to connect to each other. They won't snap to anything else. Which is a little bit annoying but um, eh, it works. So the atriums are pretty cool. You can, um, you know, there's, there's prefabs within it. You don't have to use these pieces. You could just have like a big square room if you wanted. Um, pillars, you can build the pillars up as high as you want. This is where you're going to find the overseer window. Um, and what's cool about this is a lot of the stuff, like these pillars, uh, you could use outside of um, building a vault. In fact, a lot of the stuff I'm showing you, well, any of it actually, you could use outside of a vault, but these nice little things could be good details for other, um, other settlements. So, uh, this trim, I haven't quite figured out what that's for yet, but whatever. Uh, if we keep going along, okay. This, this is interesting. Do I have a doorway in here? Do I have a doorway in here? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so this is how a doorway works. I'll show you this. So, pretty much to get a doorway, you have to have one room like this atrium doorway and then you put that you snap that down and then you have to use a doorway of either the same type so you could have another atrium doorway here or in this case domestic um, so prefab doorway and they snap together you can't put a door in when it's only like half um, but once you've done that once you've snapped oh dear once you've snap in Snap in, you know you want to. Come on, come on. No. Yeah, this is this was actually going to be one of my criticisms when I get to the actual reviewing stage. Um, some of these pieces, these room pieces, do not like the snap. Uh, they eventually will. It just takes time, and it is a little frustrating. Um, it is a little frustrating. Let's. Maybe, maybe now that I put that there. Come on. There we go. Okay. So that's back in place now. And then what you do is you snap a door in. Like that. And also it's much easier, I've noticed, to put these little signs on. Which I really like. Um, these aren't powered, by the way. These, uh, like most of the other doors in the game. It's just a push of a button and they open. Um, but it's much easier to put those signs on when you actually have a doorway in. However, it's not, you can't, it doesn't like snapping when you put the doorway in. So I would suggest you do that last after you've already built everything up. Like, 
a lot of these doorways um, I'll take out like I haven't put them in there yet um, also you put glass in here so in that same thing you have different kinds of glass panels that one's obviously for the overseer window but then you have these ones for the other types of windows so that's nice now with the atrium you have these now quite possibly my biggest criticism of this DLC is these railings then and what my criticism basically boils down to is these parts don't synergize very well at all um, so for example if I let's say I want to have uh, railings coming along here to that side but I want it to split off and go over there so it would be like a T shape um, I would have I would have to put this piece as that centerpiece wouldn't I so basically that would be in the middle and you would have a railing going that way and then a railing going the other way and a railing going this way yeah and if you look that snaps in very nicely it looks lovely problem is on this side you've got this gap here now I can't for the life of me figure out what you're supposed to do about this because if you put on a railing like that as you can see it's not actually attached at this end and yeah you can live with that but it just kind of annoys me so I don't I don't really know I'm I, I, there should be something also these snap quite nicely to it so you could say um, I don't think would that snap? I don't know, maybe. But that's one criticism. I wish the railings were a little better. So what I did was I actually just used the atrium floor pieces, which the railings snap to, which is a lot nicer. A lot nicer. But there's still a problem, like when you get these stairs, I couldn't snap the other kind of railing to uh, this, which means that, again, it's not attached there, which I just have to kind of live with. Uh, and then there's these supports. I haven't quite figured out what these are for. I think they're meant for like outside of the vault. So if I were to pop around here, we would find an example of an area. Um, yeah, like so the supports would go say there, like that. But I think that's just, it's completely aesthetic. It doesn't serve any purpose. It's just an aesthetic thing from the outside, but when my vault's built, I don't plan on being on the outside, so that's one thing I haven't really used. Um, it's still cool, though. So that's that for the actual building pieces. I would say, overall, they work well. They, um, they snap together nicely for the most part, and they work well together. I'm especially impressed with the way the different types snap together and just so seamlessly work. So the next thing I should probably talk about is the uh, electrics. Now, I think that they did a brilliant job with the way that the power works. Um, now, if you've watched any of the videos that Bethesda put out, this may have been explained, but basically, you have these big ass generators, uh, huge ones, as you can see, I've got 650 power going on right now. Um, because I have one generator putting out 150 and another putting out 500. And all of these pieces conduct that electricity. So theoretically, if I... Oh, I can't remove that piece. If I remove that... Uh, maybe not. I'm not going to be able to snap that back in there. doesn't matter. I'm not going to be saving. I'm not going to faff about on it. But you'll see that um, if I was to remove all these pieces, basically none of this would be lit up. They go through the floor. Uh, but the other thing is, even when they are connected like that, they won't light up because you need these little wall conduits. However, they work by, as you can see, the, those lights went off. If I put that back, come back on. Um, they work by area of effect rather than direct connection. However, they can directly con connect, as you can see here. So the power works really really well um, 
which is good, which is good, because that was, you know, um, one of the big problems with building in this game. What I will say is, though, there are still lighting problems, especially with big rooms like this. So, even though I have shit tons of lighting in here, absolutely shit tons of lighting in here, you'll see that there's still lots and lots of dark spots. And to get the floor lit up, I actually had to put these crappy la uh, street lights on, which I really didn't want to do. They look alright, but... I don't know, maybe I'll have to look at some of the other in-game vaults to, uh, to really get to grips with that. But, yeah, um, the, the power works quite well. And if I quickly show you uh, in the power tab, you'll see that you have uh, this generator, this big-ass super reactor, and then this one, which is slightly smaller, um, which is nice. And then in the conduits, you have these four. These are just some nicer looking versions of the other ones, pretty much, that go with the vault uh, aesthetic. And then uh, the ones that transmit power over an area. Then in lights, you've got pretty much all the lights you see around here. Uh, this kind of thing. You've got ones to snap the ceiling, ones to snap the walls. They're very nice. Um, you have red and green versions of those ones as well, which you know, I'll try and figure out what I'm going to do with, um, miscellaneous, oh yeah, so you have this terminal for managing your peeps, um, and I think that's everything for the power tab, now if we back up, you'll find the, uh, the overseer's desk in the special thing when you've, uh, first start the quest line, anyway, um, if we go to furniture, you'll see fresh bed, nice and fresh bed which is always welcome and they added a fuck ton of other furniture which I'm so glad about because I said in some recent build videos that oh, fuck off <laughs> I said in some recent videos that I felt that there could be even more decoration um, that would be nice so they added that they they came to play with the decoration um, got all these different kind of things those which I used in the cafeteria area all these different colored chairs, which is nice, kind of cool. Um, brand new versions of uh, furniture we already have, which is very welcome by me because I like my stuff to look new. Um, and same thing applies to containers. Let's see. So we got these little trunks, which are nice. They're only Vault 88. Um, and just all this stuff that you'll see in the vault. I particularly like when I find it. I particularly enjoy these desks. So, where are they? Okay, the desks like this because they have these little extensions, which I think are so neat. It's such a like a cool idea. Um, it does mean I don't think these are gonna work with the rug glitch because the rug glitch doesn't work with things that snap. But what can you do? Um, and then in furniture miscellaneous, we got perhaps the one thing that I desperately wanted, which is sinks and toilets. How good is that? We also got water fountains, um, dispensers for like kitchen and bar areas, workout gear, new versions of the TVs. I mean, how good does that look, man? I'm so, so happy about that. The, in decoration, you've got these uh, new floor tiles, which are interesting. Um, eat up rubber like but very cool you could actually probably c completely cover a floor if you were patient enough um, but I'm probably not going to be I just dot them around really um, so that's it for that but then if you go into vault you got these vault statues like vault girl over there and you've also got a vault boy these posters, which are very nice, I like these. These are these are pretty cool. These are pretty cool. I enjoy these a lot. So the decoration side of things is awesome. Like really, really good. These signs work great, um, and these consoles are so cool as well. I mean, come on, there's all kinds of possibilities with this. I like how there's three designs as well. You know, so much you could do with this. Uh, not just in vaults, but outside of them as well. 
to make sciency areas. Just such a freaking awesome thing that they added. Um, oh, also in this tab you've got these little crates, um, which are cool, I guess. Oh, and these random Christmas trees. I, I don't really understand the relevancy of that. But these, these crates, nice little bit of deco. Um, again, in the misc tab, you've got a whole bunch of new crap. Uh, let's see here. Um, a new... Wait, no, no. A brand new jukebox. I don't... Wait, no, was that added in this? Yes, that was added in this. Uh, which is very welcome, of course. Just brand new looking and everything, really. I wish it wasn't all tuned to classical radio, though. The fact that it's tuned to classical radio is very irritating. Those coffee machines, and look at this, a brand new... Brand new trash can. How fucking awesome is this? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Very, very well done, Bethesda. Um, and I know this is something that a lot of people are going to be happy about as well. We have a new post. Um, we have this one, which is like the kind you find outside of the vaults. Very cool, I think. Um, I haven't actually put one of these down, but yeah. But we also have barricades. Apparently a security desk. That's ooh, this is interesting. I should put one of these in here. I didn't realize we had that. But look, barricades. Come on, man. That's something we should have had the whole time. It's so good. So good. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. If you go on the MISC tab, you'll find barbers and surgeons, which I think is very cool. So you can, if you sign someone to this, you can actually have your hair cut or, you know, have be seen to by a doctor, as it were. So, those are such good additions. Um, and kind of on that level, I think that what they've added is just so good. I mean, building a vault, I've said it before, it just seemed like such a natural progression of this system. It should have been in the game to begin with, really. Um, it just makes sense. I mean, it's a game about a nuclear apocalypse where people go to vaults and stuff. So, I think that it was it was just such a obvious thing to do, such a good thing to do, um, and I'm so glad we have it. It works, for the most part, really, really well. Way better than I was expecting. Um, like I say, my main criticism just lies within... Sometimes it doesn't. It's a bit finicky about snapping uh, some of these pieces, but you can usually get it. You know, it won't take it too long. Um, and the fact that the lighting again, but this has always been a problem. It just isn't isn't as good as it should be or could be. Uh, other than that, though, it's just such a functional thing. So nicely done. The quest line seems fun and interactive. I mean, I'll take it because I'm. I'm only in it for the building, really, so to have the quests as well, I think that's just the, you know, such a, a good compliment uh, to the, to the whole thing. Very, very cool. Um, let's see, vault. So, yeah. And if you look, like, if we get, say, a clinic. Which I will be building a clinic soon. Um, and we, wait a minute, we get like a, there we go, like, where this one, like that. Then you can just nicely, I don't actually know if this whole thing would snap. Let's see. Do you have to snap it one piece at a time? This is just me testing this out right now. No, it looks like you have to snap it one piece at a time. It could be because the rock's in the way. That's actually another criticism I have of this DLC. Well, I have... It, this is twofold, really. Why can't you scrap things like this big boulder here? There's lots of limestone that you can scrap. And this looks like a huge area, but it's actually a lot more cramped than it seems. This main hall is where most of the building is going to be. I have a residential area that I'll show you um, in my video that will be a tour. Um, and that kind of shows that like it gets cramped 
Um, I wish it was a bit more of an expansive cavern. Um, but what what can you do? Uh, and the other thing, um, let me think. What was the other thing to that? Um, oh yeah, the settlement size is pathetic. Now I know about the gun glitch, uh, where you drop a lot of guns and store them in the thing. And I don't know if I'm missing something here. I have ex I have explored all of the areas, so. I've got all of the building area I possibly can, okay? That I am aware of, right? Maybe there's more somewhere down the quest line, but I don't think so. And I've picked up or scrapped basically everything that you can. So I'm very confused because the settlement size is really small and they have to expect that people are going to be building fucking massive forts. Now, I don't know if they're just doing that knowing that people can get around it but for casual players who don't watch youtube and, and don't know things like that like that just seems kind of crap i don't understand their logic at all uh, on that front but overall i'm really pleased with this dlc it is what i hoped for i do wish these rooms um when i come and think of it i suppose i have quite a few criticisms but i, I wish these rooms could be um put on multiple open areas like this so like two uh like two high but an open area because you can't do that because they all have roofs as you can see you can you can have multiple floors but um there'll be roofs to it so it's it's irritating it's not like this um but yeah i'm i'm very impressed it's a lot more succinct than i was expecting uh, one of the things I didn't show was the cool little vault door we've been given. I'm not using that, I'm just using the basic entrance. But overall, I think this DLC is probably worth like a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Definitely worth getting if you were on the fence about it. Um, is it the best of the workshops? I'm, t I'm actually tempted to say no. Contraptions was really good. Way better than I was expecting. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel when I've finished building my vault. But until that time, for now, I will just say TTFN.